Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about line integral. So now I will show you how to answer. We know that C is the right half of the circle. This is about the circle in here. So we need to graph the function. A right and a half of the circle, a right in here, and a half of the circle should be like this. Now, we put y in here, s in here. The question they said that counterblockwise, counterblockwise, they should go like this. Because this is about counterblockwise and the radius of the circle in here, we have r equals to the square root of number 9, and we have number 3. So in this situation, I will put about s equal to r cosine t, y equal to r side t. And we know that r is about number 3. So we put number 3 in here. And number 3 in here. About the edge. The edge, that's a about the square root of first the derivative of s with respect to t. And we have square in here. And we do first the derivative of y with respect to t. We have square. And this one we have dt. So about s, we have negative 3 cos t. Oh, sorry, negative number 3 sin t. Square. This one, we have 3 cos t. So, if we swear this one, swear this one, we will have about 9 sin t square plus 9 cos t square dt. Number 9, number 9, we can do about factorization. And this one in here, we change for number 1. So the square root of number 9, we have 3. About the bounds. If we look on the graph, we see that they form negative b over 2 to b over 2. So they go this way in here. So the interaction, we will start from negative b over 2 to positive b over 2. S, we change for 3 cos t. Y, we change for 3 side t, but we have the power 2 in here, so we have 9 side t square. Dh, we change for 3 dt. And now we need to calculate about this one. We have 3, 9, 3. We multiply together and we have 81. And we have cos side t, side t square. About this one, we can use about integration by 
substitution so I will put about u equals to side t so if we do first the derivative for the both sides we have cosine t dt next we change the bounds we have t equals to b over 2 so that means we have u equals to number 1 when t equals to negative b over 2 so we change u equals to negative number 1 so now we need to change everything in here negative b over 2 we change from negative number 1 this is about positive number 1 side t we change for u so we have u square cos t dt we change for du the interaction of this one we have u to the power of 3 over 3 and we have the bounds from negative oh sorry from negative number 1 to positive number 1 so we put the value in here So this one we have 54. This is the end. Thank you for watching.